All right, so Matt, can you tell us a little bit about the Vision Jet and who the customer is? Yeah, absolutely. So the Vision Jet is the world's first single engine personal jet. And our customer, a lot of our customers actually come from our SR airplane where they actually learn how to fly and then eventually they graduate to the Vision Jet. All right, so now tell me just like start to finish in, in human terms what the parachute is and how that, yeah, how that was developed and why. So the Cirrus Airframe Parachute System is actually a parachute that's on the airplane that actually lowers the whole airplane to the ground. What we were seeing was a lot of accidents occur where the pilot really had no control. So the parachute was a way for if something would happen inside the airplane where the pilot is uh, unable to uh, change the outcome, they're able to pull a handle and a parachute would deploy from the airplane and slowly and uh, safely lower it to the ground so all the occupants can leave the airplane safely. Has anybody had to use it? Yeah, we've had uh, numerous uh, of our SR customers have used it. We've had over 200 people return safely home to their families because of the parachute system. And then on the Vision Jet, we've had it deployed twice and both times, everybody walked home to their families. That's amazing. So now there's another major safety feature. Tell us a little bit about that and what that is for. We also have the safe return uh, auto land system on the Vision Jet. So if anything would happen to the pilot, a passenger with a touch of a button that's accessible to them can press the button and the plane would automatically land itself. So when a passenger would hit the safe return button, the airplane would automatically uh, calculate what's the best and closest airport to land at. It will tell air traffic control what's going on, so air traffic control could then clear all the traffic out. And then the airplane will go through just a normal procedure, just like a pilot would be flying it, and the airplane will land and go to a complete stop so everybody can exit the airplane you know, on the ground. Does it just pick the closest airport or the best? Like, it did, would it go to O'Hare, like in the middle of the day? So or? it'll pick the best. So there is okay. actually filters in there that will choose. It's like, yeah, they'll probably leave O'Hare alone and maybe go to DuPage. <laughs> or they'll, uh, it would also take a look at the weather as well. So if there's actually like storms, it will actually not go to that airport, but go to one that has clear weather. And does it have the capability to circle if needed? It does. So, I mean, if for whatever, like a lot of times it will actually even pull to lose altitude or and then it can kind of come down and uh, just shoot like an approach just like a pilot would. What happens if the, if you, if the passenger like keeps pushing it? As soon as they push it once, you know, it kind of goes through its sequence. Uh, with that being said, if the pilot was fine and all of a sudden there's just gonna be a little enunciator that comes up and says, hey, safe return, activate it. And if they didn't want that to happen, all they have to do is press the button, disconnect the system, nobody's a wiser. Okay.